Only Up has done the impossible. Every year, over 10,000 video games are released worldwide. And occasionally, a game will launch that breaks through the void, becoming a cultural phenomenon among gamers that becomes simply impossible to ignore. And a feat like that, in itself, is extremely impressive, because quite frankly, it happens so rarely. However, in the case of Only Up, what that game has been able to achieve is far more impressive than any of that, to the point that Only Up is outperforming a AAA blockbuster PlayStation exclusive Final Fantasy 16. That's right, this indie darling is creating a bigger impact among gamers than one of the largest franchises in the history of gaming. Like Square Enix and PlayStation have spent hundreds of millions of dollars to promote Final Fantasy 16, and a $10 PC game is eating their lunch. But look, I mean, I am getting way ahead of myself here. I, I have a ton of data to share that kind of supports this, but first and foremost, probably the best place to start off is talking about what is only Up. And probably the simplest way to put it is Only Up is a rage-inducing video game that I can only assume is one of the lowest and most inner levels of Dante's Inferno. Players start off in the slums and must climb, mount, and jump across various objects to reach the absolute tippity top of the map. But if you make one wrong step, you are plummeting to the ground and starting all over. Now, a lot of the the success that Only Up is seeing is definitely caused by live streamers and content creators. A game like this that inflicts so much rage on an average player is such an entertaining experience for the audience. In fact, creators like Dr. Disrespect are getting over a million views on Only Up live streams and VOD content. And that is just the doc. Tim the Tatman is averaging 700,000 total viewers on Only Up live streams. I Show Speed hit 3.8 million total viewers on his Only Up video, and Ludwig's Only Up videos are getting well over 1.5 million viewers as well. And YouTube is not the only place suffering from Up fever. On Twitch, Only Up has over 83,000 followers, and at the time of filming this, over 45,000 people are watching people fall to their doom in Only Up. Now, if you've watched this channel before, you know that I am the loudest proponent of, uh, Twitch numbers don't mean sh**. Viewership numbers do not reflect game sales, nor does it reflect the actual size of a player base. However, in a situation like this, where Final Fantasy is being outperformed by a game that literally launched four months ago, you have to think that somewhere in an executive suite, the the owners of Square Enix are just sitting there like, what the fuck, man? Now going back to YouTube real quick, this is where it kind of gets interesting because for the last 30 days, YouTube searches for only up have steadily been increasing. And in the last couple days, the term only up surpasses Final Fantasy 16 as Roman numeral searches and Final Fantasy 16 spelt out like the rest of us college dropouts like to spell it. Now I did find it kind of funny that uh, Google Trends also breaks it down by state and I don't know what's going on in Montana, but hot damn, y'all love yourself some Final Fantasy 16. Now, of course, before somebody puts it in the comment section, uh, these stats are just for the United States. Admittedly, I thought that when I would switch it to worldwide, that Final Fantasy would surely dominate Only Up. However, the exact opposite actually happened. Only Up has legit taken the world of gaming by storm, especially when you look at the last 30 days of YouTube searches. Now, you might be asking, why? Is any of this important? Well, to borrow the plot from the Brad Pitt Moneyball movie, Square Enix has legit spent millions of millions of dollars to promote Final Fantasy 16. Legit, my wife and I were at the movie theaters this week to see Jennifer Lawrence's new movie. Right before the movie started, we got a trailer for uh, Final Fantasy 16. I mean, everywhere you look, there are adverts for this game. And while I am sure it is selling relatively well on PlayStation, the fact is, an indie developer was able to build more hype around their game while probably spending one one hundred thousandth of the budget that Square Enix had. That 
is the big deal here. And with as quickly as the video game industry is consolidating, indie developers around the world better be looking at what Only Up accomplished and asking themselves, how can I replicate this with my game? Now, how will this Cinderella story end? I have no clue. Uh, I, I definitely think it's gonna be interesting to see how SCKR continues to hype this game up in the upcoming months. I, for one, totally suspect that we will see both of those graphs just completely flatline as we get closer to the holiday season. But either way, I mean, as a fan of gaming development and the video game industry as a whole, I mean, how can you not look at a story like this and just smile from ear to ear? Are you listening?